Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we come to bout number five. Look at this man right here. Look at this specimen of man. This right here is none other than J.J. Holmes at the 185-pound weight class. This man was making his pro debut. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Let me go and give you the quick cliff notes right here. The first round, I'm going to tell you, there were knees, there were elbows, there was striking, there was takedowns. What did you leave out? Uh, I don't know. Hugs and kisses, I guess, huh? You know what he left out? The second round knockout. That's what he left out in the first round at 24 seconds of the second round. This man put Mr. Brian Cheatham to bed. He put him out early. What do you say about Mr. Cheatham? Um, I'm just glad he wanted to fight me. I give him, I piss my hands off to him. Well, I've got to say this, JJ. He's from Saxon Muay Thai. That is not a club that you mess with lightly. And I'm gonna tell you, you made quick order. Tell me what you saw. How did you feel in this in this whole pro debut? Uh, I felt really good. You know, I was worried about my conditioning. That was my uh, my weak point, and um, I just put it together. You know, I was waiting for the takedown, got it. He got tired. Then I then my hands. That's what I've been working on. So uh, I'm just glad I got to use them. So let me tell you the humbleness in this man. There's too much humility. This man kicks ass. I'm telling you. I didn't say that he kicks butt. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you better keep your eyes on this man. i tell you what, J.J. Holmes, a force to be reckoned with. Again, congratulations, J.J. We're going to see you in the future, baby, aren't we? Absolutely. You're going to keep it going. Tell us what's on the roadmap right now. What's next? Top of the world. There you go, baby. I want you to stay tuned for our next bout, bout number six. Again, one more shout-out to this young man, and we thank you for being here. Next. Next now uh, we come to bout number, number six. six. I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this man, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to turn my back on the camera because it's <laughs> Steven Peterson, baby. You deserve my full attention. You know what? I'm going to tell you, don't you even get a side angle on this man because he'll hurt you, baby. Let me go ahead and tell you right quick. 23 seconds of the very first round. He made short order of Quinn Kim, baby. Tell me what happened here. Tell us what, what you saw in there. You know, I, th I thought he was going to be a little more cautious. He came straight at me. Uh, so I didn't even throw any hands. He just tied up with me. His head was right there. I went for the guillotine. I had a real tight, but when I jumped guillotine, I shouldn't have jumped guard. I should have climbed guard, but, you know, got, got antsy. He wanted to finish it quick. Jump guard. He slipped out. So I caught his arm in my armpit, and I was like, oh, arm bar. You know? He went, oh, hell, I slipped into an arm bar. Thanks for all the mistakes, right? Uh, yeah, no, that's what you call being prepared. You know that? Yes, sir. I've that's been, knowing I've, and feeling it's it. It's my life. Uh, did you I've not feel it? Day. You knew it was when it came there, you felt it. You didn't have to see it, it, it did you? It was time. It was time. time well, it. well, I'm going to tell you, J.D. Shelley, North Dallas Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Is that who you were representing? Yes, sir. J.D. Shelley, Shelley and crew Car Carlos Moreno is my coaches. They're the best coaches I've ever, okay. I've ever trained on. Let me ask you, Stephen, what was your record? Was it 12 and 1 or 2 no, and it, 1? It was, it was 2 and 1. It was I, 2 and 1. I was 2 and 0 coming up to my last bout. Took it on a week's notice. Yes, sir. And uh, I also went up the weight class, which to the, the combo of those was a, was a good decision. Uh, you know, I, I, I bat, battled it out with a guy who was a war, Brad Mitchell. Uh -huh. uh, he's, a, he's a hell of, hell of an opponent, hell of a person. And, uh, you know, the judges gave it to him. I, I thought I won it, but, you know, it was so close, you can't complain, you know. Well, so. I'm going to tell you right now, he's down three and one, folks, and I'm going to tell you, that record does not reflect what I saw in there. Baby, quick, fast, you better watch out. Don't turn your head on this. Don't even blink. You better have your eyes open. First round stoppage, TKO by submission, a stoppage by submission, the arm bar, I think you felt that arm kind of give a little oh, bit. Yeah, Tell me about that sure. part. You were looking around. Tell yeah. me what, what you heard. I, I felt his arm pop. I felt him screaming. Uh, you know, he started tapping on my leg, but it was right up against the cage. But there was no uh, referee. You couldn't... The ref didn't stop it, and you know you know how it is. You have to keep going until the ref steps in. So I, I couldn't let go of it. I had to keep going until the ref stopped me. He started screaming, and then uh, you know his arm broke after that. Uh, it's just part of the game. The ref didn't stop. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna wrap this up right quick because we got a lot of other. How about a quick little shout out yeah, to somebody? Give a shout out to my manager Pierre Bertrand. Uh, Focus in on that, Jocko. baby. The represent Jocko. How about another one right here? Hold on, here we go, another one. This company, just break it. And that, that's break. exactly what I did tonight. <laughs> oh, just break it, baby! You gotta go beast mode right there. You gotta go beast mode. You gotta just break it. Okay, baby.
I tell you what, the end of bout number six came with a great, great enthusiastic end. We couldn't have had any better show than what, Stephen, you brought to us, baby. We wish you the best of luck in the Appreciate future, baby. It, and you know what? I want you to stay tuned for the next bout. Bout number seven coming, coming up. Bout number seven. I'm going to tell you right now, the fight of the night, the crowd pleasing. Oh, I tell you what, Bert, you put some... Oh, some tremendous action. I've got Burt McDonald here in the 155 pound weight class. And you know what? I can't take anything away from your opponent, Moses Diaz. Tell me what went on the fight. It went back and forth. It was a great fight. Tell me what you saw, what you thought, what happened. He didn't give up, man. Neither did I. Well, he had some strong ground skills. You know, I just keep fighting. You know, keep fighting. Yeah, I've been practicing taking people's backs a lot, as you can tell. Yes, um, yes. The dude was tough. I hit him a couple times with good shots. I had him back up against the cage. I thought he was about to drop him, but he would shoot in and take me down. And I had to fight off that, you know, and get back up and continue on. And it was basically the same thing for three rounds. Bert, I tell you what, let me go ahead and recap for the fight fans, because I know right now you're a little winded. Yeah. The first round, baby, you had him up against the cage, and you were striking. And just like you said, I thought he was going to go down. And all of a sudden, bam! Here he did. Go a take down. Baby. Go oh, baby. And you know what? I got these notes right here. Great exchanges. Y'all brought the show, baby. You brought the game. You know, this right here is your pro debut. Yes, now sir. you're 1 0. Yes, and I'm going to tell you right now, I know you are the owner of Texas Fighting Syndicate. Yes, sir. And it's quite obvious right now that the owner right here has a lot of tremendous skills. Excellent. Hey, how about a little shout out to yourself right now, where you're at, where your club is, who all you're, what you're doing right now? We're building a team, man. I've been open for like a little over a year now. I got 80 students. We compete in Muay Thai tournaments, Golden Gloves next month. I got 17 year old MMA fighters. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu experts going to nod the one uh -huh, uh -huh. fight to win Jiu-Jitsu tournaments. Man, they just train hard. How about an address? Where you're at? Come on. 123 Northeast Wilshire Boulevard, Burleson, Texas. www.texasfightingsyndicate.com Baby, how about a phone number? You want to put a phone number with that? 817-907-1301. It's my personal number. You want to come train and learn how to fight? Come see us. We'll teach you. Well, I want to tell you right now, as I wrap this thing up, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. I've got a few more uh, uh, notes right here I want to make. Make sure. One heck of a fight, yeah. baby. I'm going to tell you, keep breaking the game. We want to see you again. We know we're going to see you around. Yes, and you know what? i tell you what. I'm going to step back, and I'm going to salute Mr. Burt right now. Congratulations, Thank baby. You, we want to see you again. Yes, now, you stay tuned, five fans, for the next bout. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming out bout number eight now. I'm going to tell you, i got Mr. Becero here in front of me, Chris. I'm going to tell you, Chris, you put him to sleep real quick. At one minute of the first round, he puts Jared Jones, who was four and four and now four and five, at your hands. You bring your record up now to three and one. I want to tell you, congratulations, Chris. I'll tell you what, baby, a massive left hook, baby. Oh man! When the boy went down, I saw a little mercy in your eyes. You looked over to the referee for a little help. You want to call it right now, or do you want to put an electric punches in there? And you know what you did? You obliged the referee, and you went ahead and threw a little extra roll just to put him out for the back. Tell me what you saw in there. Tell me how it went. Well, it was a pretty quick fight. You know, I, I can't even describe exactly how all the little things happened. I just remember I'm striking, I'm landing a little bit, pressing me against the cage, and for a second I'm thinking like, oh man, I don't want this to be a long fight. And, you know, he, he, he gave me space back in up, I landed some knees, and I felt time for transition. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. During that transition right there, you know, I know that's a dangerous part of the game right there, that transition, sure. and so I went for it right there during that time, and sure enough, it landed. I was ready for him to, to continue striking. He falls down, and like you said, I was showing a little mercy, and, uh, you know, he the ref wasn't anywhere in between me and him, so I continued, and wow. Well, I'm going to hope that your career can, continues like this, that we can't make an evaluation of you, that you knock them out real quick, baby, because, you know, I love the action. Now, you know what? You're going to be fighting Chris Jones here at XKO number 10, baby. He's going to be for the championship. Tell me a little shout-out, baby. Tell me what's going on through your mind about this next fight. I'm, I'm just very excited. I'm very, very honored and excited to fight Chris Jones for the title. You know, he's, he's I, like I said out there, he's the person that got me into this organization. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He introduced me to the promoter. Uh, Thomas Bussey and so you know without him I feel like I wouldn't have a place here next KO you know I got you so, so I got you him for the title him and XKO giving me this opportunity I'm just very excited very honored you know and I want to put a, a good fight for the fans and hopefully everybody comes out to support 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be at the 155-pound weight class. And I'm going to tell you this man right here for the championship, Chris, I want no mercy, baby. And I know there won't be, but you know what? I'm waiting for it. Stay tuned for number bout number nine. And again, congratulations. Hey, how about a quick shout-out to your club or anybody right quick? American Revolution, Corpus Christi, Texas. None other than the American Revolution training Dutch style Muay Thai. You won't find it anywhere else here in the state of Texas. So, thank you. And I love you. My wife, Patty. At home with the little one, Mr. Cash, and another one on the way, soon to be, we don't know his name yet, so.